If you're in year 13 at the moment, then you are rightly worried about your grades and getting on to university and a repeat of what happened last year. Um, so I'm going to try and give you some reassurance and explain what is happening. So they are not going to do the same as what they did last year. They're not going to standardise the grades. So the grades that your teacher gives you are the grades that you will get. Obviously there'll be some um, moderation by the exam boards but it's not going to be moving people up and down um, based on statistics. So there are lots and lots of you that are going to be worried um, about repeat and they shouldn't be seeing the same sort of things um, happening last year with changing grades that we saw this year that we saw last year and the universities will be more understanding because exactly the same thing happened last year and they want to avoid the chaos as well so hopefully uh we think it should be a lot easier this year than they were last year now you still have to be in school you still have to be working you still have to prove to your um teachers that you can get the grades that they um said you'll get but you do have your predicted grades now hopefully you're happy with your predicted grades these are predicted grades that you use to get into university they were based on a range of data so if your teacher comes around and says that you are working significantly below your predicted grade then i strongly suggest you go back to them and ask them why they think that and what has changed so significantly um, compared to when they gave you the predicted grade. Now there are lots of things you can do to help your teachers come to the um, right conclusion and I don't mean emailing them or bribing them or threatening them because that sort of thing would just get reported straight to the head of department or straight to the head of school but I mean helping them, helping show them evidence. So it is kind of aesthetics, but I do mean neatly organised folders where you've got evidence of everything that you've been doing in class. You've filed away your homework, you've responded to the feedback and you've done your independent study. Now your independent study should be roughly an hour's worth of work at home for every hour that you've seen someone in classroom or online. Um, and this is sort of things like going and finding extra questions, going and doing extra papers, because all of this extra is revision for exams, it is hard work, it is the sort of thing that will push you up, um, push your grade up. Every single year I was teaching, there was a solid C grade student, you know, predicted a C, worked at a C the whole way through, and then really, really pulled it out the bag towards the end and ended up with an A in that A level exam. You're not necessarily going to get the chance to prove that in the actual exam, but you can start trying to prove it to your teachers the whole time now. Because if you get a really, really complicated exam question, just copying down the mark scheme doesn't really show that you understand it. However, if you run a really, really complicated exam question, um, but then you work it out and you annotate how you've worked it out and you clearly lay it out and then you show that to your teacher, showing clear understanding, not just having copied out the mark scheme, that is good evidence to show that you are working above. So I know this is a really, really stressful time. I know Easter's coming up. Um, I really want you to spend a lot of time over this holiday trying to relax, um, not doing too much work. I know this is completely different to what I normally say this point in year 13. Um, but work on evidence for your teachers, work on, you know, if you've got mock exams coming up or practice exams coming up, whatever they are called in your school, then work on revising for those but as part of that, keep a folder of evidence that you can go and show your teachers. Um, I have lots of stuff coming out for A-level biology and A-level maths that you can use to help you. Um, papers up on my website, whole topic videos and courses are up on my website as well. Um, good luck guys. I know this has been a horrible year. I know this has been a really hard year. Um, 
I want you to seriously consider um, going to watch a video that I put out a few weeks ago about how to make your life easier. Um, if I was in your position, I would be taking a gap year um, just to have a bit of fun and a bit of life and to try and capture everything that was lost over the last year. Um, good luck, guys. I'm going to be here with you every step of the way. Ouch! This is why in some videos I have unexplained scratches.